Hey, Dr. Clark here with another financial mathematics video. This time we're looking at basic annuities from section 3.2. Let's get started. So a couple main ideas from this section. First, uh, what is an annuity, obviously, and then uh, the present value formula, which we'll need, and then the discount factor. Okay, so first, what's an annuity? So an annuity is a series of often equally sized payments called level pay payments, uh, which continue for a finite amount of time. Okay, so that's the difference between the perpetuity, you know, extending in perpetuity and an annuity fixed amount of time. Unless otherwise specified, you can assume the payments are equally sized and spaced equally apart. Okay, uh, a lot of times, like uh, a nice example is if you win the lottery, for example, some of these mega millions, you can either take the lump sum now or they'll pay you X amount of dollars per year for the next 30 years. That's basically an annuity. All right. Um, and it turns out that if you take the lump sum, you get less money uh, than if you take the annuity where it stretches the money out for a, a fixed period of time. So that's, that's a, a common place for annuity. Sometimes people... Um, with retirement accounts, we'll want an annuity. Hey, I want to live off this much money. I need this much every year for the next 30 years of my retirement. So they take their nest egg and they buy an annuity, and then that guarantees them, you know, that, that those regular payments. So that's kind of how an annuity often shows up in, in the real world. Okay, there's a nice formula for it. Um, so an annuity formula, often also called the present value formula. Remember we saw the accumulated value or future value formula when we looked at sinking funds. So this is the brother or sister to that, the present value formula. So what is the present value of a series of $1 payments at an effective interest rate of I over N payment periods? With each payment happening at the end of the period, that's equal to A angle n. Uh, sometimes we put the bar in there given i so it's a angle n given a particular interest rate. Sometimes you'll just see it with a angle n. Um, if n is infinity then this is a perpetuity uh, so that's sort of you know common notation there. Um, and then we have this formula. So essentially what the question that this formula is answering is how much money would you need to give me now for me to give you one dollar every month for the next 60 months or something. So what is the present value of a series of future payments? What's it worth now to get those future payments? And that's A angle N. And there's that formula right there. Uh, it's one minus one over one plus I to the N divided by I. So it, it's, it's a very simple formula. And then you say, well, it's, that's only $1. Well, if you wanted $20 payments, then you just take 20 times a angle n. So it's a really nice formula. It just works with a $1 amount and then you can scale it however you want. Uh, so that's present value, A angle n. Um, this is going to be a really important formula. We're going to keep using this for the rest of class. This idea is a really important idea. How much would it, how much would you need to have now in order to guarantee these future payments? Okay, so it's the present value of future payments. The next thing I want to talk about is the discount factor. Uh, the discount factor represented by the Greek letter nu. It kind of looks like a V, but it's the Greek letter nu. It's the present value of $1 paid in one year at an effective annual interest rate of I. So nu is 1 over 1 plus I. If you go back to the present value formula, you'll see that 1 over 1 plus I in there. And so that's basically nu. That's your discount factor showing up. So we could simplify the A angle N formula if we just put in a new in it. Um, but it's essentially just saying, well, how much, what would $1 be worth now if I was going to pay you in a year? Um, well, you're just sort of dividing by one plus I because when you earn interest, you normally multiply by one plus I. Um, so the key idea is the present value of a future payment of size P N periods into the future in an account earning an effective interest rate I and corresponding discount factor nu is P, uh, the present value PV is equal to P divided by one plus I to the N or P nu to the N. Um, and so that 
in the same way that if you take p times one plus i to the n, that would give you how much something is worth if you earn all interest on it. Well, now we're, that would be the future value. So <clears throat> p nu to the n is the discount factor. So that's how much would it be worth now if it was going to accumulate to, to p then. So it's the present value of a future payment. Um, because the assumption is you would be earning interest on that amount and then paying it after a certain period of time. Okay, so this is a nice, uh, just a nice simplifying thing. It just sort of, it's present value versus future value, essentially. All right, um, so, okay, so let's um, finish this up here. So we've seen a couple ideas. We saw the A angle N, we had the formula for that. We simplified it with the new notation on the discount factor, and we learned about annuities where that payment is only for a finite period of time. This is going to be um, just a really important section and it's going to pay dividends over time. So you're going to want to spend some time getting used to this language and also getting used to the, the formulas, the terminology, what these words mean. It's a really important section, so put some extra time into understanding it. And we'll see you in class. We'll tackle the exploration and I'll see you then.